terms of with two new commissioners being sworn in tomorrow, HR reached out to me not to do it as part of the board meeting. So I'm, I'm doing this as a public meeting, just like we could go to the board meeting. So I appreciate you all for coming. I came to Wright County 21 years ago, and most of you in this room, I've worked with you for the duration of those 21 years. Uh, so I'm happy that you all could be here. I wanted to do something that acknowledged my appointment as county attorney and also celebrated the relationships that I fostered with all of you over these 21 years. So I really appreciate you coming. Um, I asked Judge Strand to do my, my swearing in. I worked with Judge Strand when I was a private attorney, when I was an attorney in the county attorney's office. She was first a public defender and then a city attorney. And she's kind of my go-to judge on administrative things. And I have the utmost respect for her. So Judge Strand, I would be honored if you would administer my oath of office. Mr. Lewis, I should respect you very much. I have um, seen Brian in court throughout my, the course of years that he worked here in Wright County. He's respected by many individuals. Your family's here today, Brian. Yes. In the front row? Yeah, this is, I was going to do it later, but this is my wife, Renee, <laughs> 26 years. Uh, my son, Noah, who's 19. My daughter, Lexi, who's 25. My son, Joshua, who's 23. My youngest son, Maxim, who's 8. And my daughter, McKenna, who's almost 15. Hello to all of you. I've known your dad for years, and I think it was Noah who was in the hallway at one point in time playing cribbage. He was, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is my sincere pleasure, and I thank you very much for asking me to do this for you. Please raise your right hand. I, Brian A. Lutz, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Minnesota. I, Brian A. Lutz, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Minnesota. And do you solemnly swear, Brian Lutz, that you will faithfully execute and discharge the duties of the Office of County Attorney in the County of Wright, Minnesota, according to the law and to the best of your ability and understanding? I do so swear. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. First and foremost, I want to thank Tom Kelly, Tom seated in the back, uh, for many things, you know, for all you've done for me personally, for being the greatest boss a person could have for 21 years, for all that you taught me, for all that I learned from you. It came up quite a bit during my appointment process that in a perfect world, I'd continue working for Tom forever, and I sincerely meant that. He's simply the greatest boss a person could have. Uh, that said, he worked for the county attorney's office for 37 years. 22 years as county attorney, and he earned his right to retire. I'll certainly do my best, Tom, you know that, to continue your legacy and to continue all the good things that you did as county attorney. Um, I want to say a few things about Tom. You know, you have a time to reflect during a process like this, both on my appointment and on Tom's retirement. And, and what Tom's greatest quality is, in my opinion, is he's genuinely a nice person. He's genuinely a nice man, and that comes across and is apparent in every interaction he has with everyone. Whether it's, it's a board meeting, and believe me, he's on a lot of them, or he was on a lot of them, because I'm on those same boards now. Um, <laughs> or it's, it's a meeting with, with his employees, it, it's dealing with somebody in drug court. The niceness and that quality came across in everything he did. And I'm gonna have a hard time replacing that quality, for sure. You know, Tom had, had his own style, and I, and I described it as this aw shucks, I'm a country boy from Buffalo. You know, and I'll give you an example. I had, I had the honor of doing a number of grand juries with Tom. And, and of course, no one wants a tragedy like a homicide to fall upon your community. But it's a unique professional opportunity. And, and a lot of you in this room know it. Some of you may not. When we present to a grand jury, there's very limited judge involvement. A judge comes in at the beginning, reads some instruction. Judge comes in at the, at the end when an indictment is returned. Well, as soon as the judge was gone in these grand jury proceedings, so it's just Tom and I and 23 grand jurors in courtroom two at the old building, first thing Tom would do is he'd stand up, he'd take off his suit jacket, and he says, you know, now that the judge is gone, I'm gonna get comfortable. You know, that's, that's the kind of style he had, and we'd move the table around so we're facing the grand jurors. 
but don't let that style fool you. You know, Tom was, was smart as hell. And when I would go to him, especially early in my career, when I would have a question or I would need some advice on something, he was always there to point me in the right direction. And he had a level of common sense, in my opinion, that was second to none. And that's, that's more important than just intelligence when you're assessing how to proceed on a prosecution. Probably uh, the most important things I learned from Tom is, is how to prosecute the big cases. And with those grand juries go uh, murder trials or, or murder cases. And we had a lot of them, almost one every year, including the one that's still pending with Mr. Vega. And what Tom brought on those cases is a work ethic, you know, a, a level of preparation and an eye for detail that's impeccable. And it was hard for me to match that because I have a big caseload in addition to those cases. But he taught me that I have to bring that same work ethic, that same level of preparation, that same eye for detail. And, and that's you know, very important in those serious cases. I had to match his intensity and I appreciate that. And especially on the Rossberg case, Chief Kerr, retired Chief Kerr is here. And Tom and I tried a first degree murder case in front of Judge Strand that resulted in a conviction and a sentence of life without uh, parole. So thank you, Tom, for that. One of the things, first things I want to do as county attorney is I want to honor Tom. You know, with, with COVID, we can't have an open house or anything like that, but we have a pretty nice space upstairs. And uh, one of the things I want to do is, is rename one of the conference rooms in honor of Tom. So one of the conference rooms will be the Kelly room. So we have, we have three conference rooms. Thank you, Tom, for all that you did for our office, for all the citizens of Wright County and the county attorney's office. So I truly appreciate everything that you did, and you will be missed. And Brian, thank you very much, and I have no doubt you're going to keep the ship moving in the right direction. I wish you nothing but the best, and you take care, and after COVID, uh, we're going to go do what we said we're going to do. Exactly. <laughs> I, don't follow, I don't follow the NBA much anymore. Where's Brian? Here's Brian. Um, but I, I'm a huge Michael Jordan fan, as most of you probably know from my, my old office. I don't have him up in my new office. But there was a player in his era who played Allen Iverson, and he was a heck of a player, fun to watch. And his nickname was The Answer. And when I was thinking about my comments, that's what Brian's nickname should be, The Answer. And I'm so <laughs> fortunate to have him as my chief deputy. Most of you know it, right? If something comes up, you don't know the answer to it, whatever department it is, Sheriff's Office, Human Services, court services, uh, they look to Brian. And I'm so fortunate during this transition period uh, to being county attorney that I have Brian as my chief deputy uh, to continue to be my answer. So thank you, Brian, for being my chief deputy. You know, Tom and I talked, I inherited a great office and, and a lot of them are here. I can't thank everybody, uh, but I'd be remiss if I didn't point out a couple people. Uh, Cindy Hole, my office manager in the back, we kind of worked through COVID together and figured things out the best we could. And, and she'll continue to be my office manager and will assist me on the administrative things that I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now with those things. <laughs> I'm gonna need your help. And then my, my personal legal assistant, Luann, who's in the back, you know, she just wonderful. Make sure that I have everything I need for court. So Luann, I appreciate you. And she's our IT person. So the active <laughs> IT person. Uh, the commissioners, you know, I, I had an opportunity to thank you during the appointment process, but thank you for your uh, support of me and your confidence of me, and I'll do my best not to let you down. Uh, Judge Strand and, and other judges who are in the background here, um, I'll continue to have a wonderful working relationship with the bench and with court administration. Um, I've always appreciated, appreciated having a seat at the table and being involved in discussions, whether it's how we do calendars, how we set things up. I recognize my place, I recognize that it's not my decision, but it, it's nice to have a voice and I appreciate that. And I think you all know that I work hard for what's best for the county, so I hope my positions are reasonable and I look forward to a good relationship with the bench moving forward. You know, it, it comes up when you've been a lifelong prosecutor like I have been or, or some public defenders, it can be a normal career progression that you would become a judge. And I worked in Hennepin County for six years before coming out here, and I would frequently have, have attorneys or even law enforcement come up and say, when are we gonna see you up there? When are you gonna be a judge? Kind of alluding to that. Well, first of all, those of you who know me and know my mouth, it's probably not a good idea <laughs> that I would be up on that bench. But seriously, 
I like working with law enforcement. I have a passion for this job. I have a passion for being county attorney. I have a passion for working with law enforcement. I'm proud to be in a community where law enforcement is respected. And I'm proud to live and work in a community where law and order matters. And some of my most gratifying moments in my career have been working big cases with law enforcement. Again, there, there's uh, nothing good about a homicide coming onto your community, but some of my greatest career moments are when we're over in the sheriff's office in the war room and all these things are written on the whiteboard and we're exchanging you know, questions and answers back and forth, sharing ideas. That's very gratifying and professionally, it's an exhilarating experience. And I would never want to give that up um, to, to be a judge. It's a very honorable job, obviously, and, and we need judges, but this is what I want to do. This is a job that I want. I'm, I'm proud to consider myself part, part of law enforcement. And you can see from the, uh, the audience of people I invited, it's, it's mostly law enforcement. And, and along with you know, Sheriff Derringer, Chief Buckley, Chief Standifer, Chief Thompson, I consider myself the top law enforcement officer in Wright County, and I'm proud of that, and that's you know, what I want to do. So I'm excited to be the next Wright County attorney. Uh, most of you uh, know my work ethic, and I have a, a strong commitment to my job, and I don't want to get emotional at all, but you know, some of that <clears throat> with your family, it takes a toll, you know? and I work a lot, so I appreciate you, know, you guys sometimes taking a back seat to my work and all the emails and phone calls. So I appreciate that. But I'll do my very best to work the hardest to be the best county attorney I can be. So again, thank you all for coming. I brought some COVID friendly cookies in the back, <laughs> uh, commercially bought and packaged by my wife with love and, <laughs> and some water. And I, and I look forward to the great relationships that we're going to continue to have moving forward. And I wish we could have a different celebration on this, but this is probably the best we can do, and then some, I think, with COVID. So thank you all for coming, and I look forward to working with you guys moving forward.